Welcome back, guys. Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures, and thank you for tuning in once again. In this segment, we're going to go over the charting function within CQG Mobile, free web-based trading platform available with AMP Futures. Uh, we're going to show you how to add symbols onto a chart, how to add indicators, how to change time frames, and just basically show you the different functions that you can use within the charting application within CQG Mobile. All right, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, this is the platform, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple couple ways of using the chart here. So when you add the quotes widget, uh, as I demonstrated in the prior video, uh, it automatically you get a chart that's linked to the quotes widget. And in the quotes widget video, I've explained that if you don't want the, the chart function attached to it, then you can always go into the preferences menu and disable it. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you it uh, as it's attached to the quotes widget. And then also, I'll show you a different way where you can separate the chart altogether so it's independent as an independent widget that's not integrated within the quotes widget. All right, so that might be ideal if you want to get a bigger display of your chart. For example, you want to have a full screen versus a smaller display as you can see here. So uh, the chart is pretty straightforward. It's really not a whole lot to it in terms of a whole a great amount of flexibility. It's, it's going to be enough for what you need, but I want to show you a couple things here. So uh, as we see here at the chart, you can see there's three little buttons here. And if I click on the first circle, which is where what we're already selected on at this moment, that's the chart. So if I click on the second tab, you can see it, it brings me to a different function. But if I go to the first one, what you're looking is what you're looking for is that circle to, to be a solid white color to give you an indication which one you have selected. And then of course it's going to show you the chart itself. So that's really what the first circle function will do. It'll tell you the symbol. It'll show you the candles and the chart. The little dotted line here is basically telling you where the, the last trade price is. So 20, 80, and a quarter. Uh, you have time zone at the bottom here. This is going to probably be local exchange, or not local, but exchange time. So wherever the uh, the market is trading, it'll probably reflect the exchange time of where that market trades. So Chicago Mercantile Exchange would be central time. And then you can see, um, let me actually double check. So we got uh, 12, C. yeah, actually, you know what? Let's see, 735, so 12. 18, so that's going to be six something, give or take. So it's probably actually, it could be a possibility it might be showing local time zone based on my PC because it looks like it may be the case. So I'll have to double check on that for you. But you can see here on the top right corner of the chart there, you'll see three menu options. So if you click the drop down menu, uh, those are what we call presets. So those are the time frames that are available to you. So you can use a one minute chart, a five minute, a 10, 15, 30, 60, daily, weekly, and monthly. All right, now at the moment, uh, what you see is what is available. Uh, you're not able to use any time frames outside of that. So hopefully uh, moving forward as CQG begins to uh, expand out of their product within CQG Mobile, they'll give you more flexibility with giving you the ability to use different chart types as well as changing time frames outside of what you see. But as simple um, as, far, as far as selecting the time frame, it's very easy. All you have to do is just left click on that time frame or if you're using a cell phone device, just simply click on it with your finger. So right now we're using a one minute chart as you can see here. So if I click five minute, it simply changes the time frame to a five minute chart. So before, um, the charting has co has definitely come a long way before I remember when first logging into the platform, uh, probably about maybe just under a year ago, you had to refresh the charts. There was a button on there that you had to click to refresh the chart. So the last trade price and the candles weren't updating in real time. So uh, that was something that customers uh, were kind of complaining about. And as I mentioned, CQG is always, um, you know, they always have ears open for, for trying to improve their products. So they uh, now make the charts update in real time, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about clicking on the refresh button anymore to keep the charts up to date. So that's uh, that's no longer a concern. So that's time frames. If you click here now, the middle section, you have different chart types. So you have five different chart types. You have candlesticks, hollow candles, you have bar chart, line chart, and you also have area chart. So it's as simple as left clicking or clicking with your finger, whichever chart type that you want to use, and it's going to change the chart type to that style. Now this one here where it says no study, these are the indicators. So at the moment, there's a total of eight indicators that are available to you to choose from. So you have moving average, moving average cross, you have Bollinger Bands, you also have volume indicator, volume and open interest, and you also have RSI, MACD, and stochastics. All right, so at the moment, there's only a total of eight indicators that you can choose from. And then it looks like you can only have two indicators on the chart at a time. Uh, that's probably because of the capacity of how big the chart is. And also because mainly it's, this is, at the end of the day, this is designed for a mobile device. That's why it's called CQG Mobile. So you typically don't have a whole lot of display on a mobile device. So if you had, you know, 20 different indicators on the mobile device, it's going to be kind of hard to see the chart. So I'm thinking they did that for a reason. And also, you're not able to change the value inputs of the indicator. So they are going to be default values. From my understanding, uh, I was told from a CQG representative that you can go onto their website and see what those values are. 
Uh, but in the meantime, these are the indicators that are available and you're not able to customize or change the input values of the indicators themselves. And again, just left click the indicator or click on it with your finger to select that specific indicator. And then you're just going to look for the check next to the indicator to give you a confirmation that it's been applied. And that's pretty much the indicators. And really that's, you know, that's pretty, what, pretty much what the chart is. Now let me go ahead and select the secondary circle here. And what this is, this is a new function that was added not too long ago as well. Uh, this gives you a volume histogram of what's going on on the instrument that you're looking at. So you can see right now we're looking at a five minute time frame. Here's a timestamp every five minutes is telling you exactly how many contracts are being executed every five minutes. All right, so that's what the secondary circle function does. It gives you a volume histogram. You can go ahead and click the drop down menu. You can choose the different time frames if you'd like to see a different interval. Instead of five minutes, for example, you'd like to go to 10. And then instead, it'll show you how many contracts have executed every 10 minutes. All right, and that's the, uh, the third column here that you see. That's this basically giving you a short description of the instrument. So it'll give you a description of the instrument, the tick size, tick value last trading date, first notice date. So that's actually pretty cool. A lot of times when you trade commodity contracts where the rollover is very frequent, uh, it could be month to month versus E-mini indexes trade, you know, a rollover four times a year. Uh, sometimes we get uh, a lot of questions coming into our help desk as, as one does gold rollover, for example. So uh, that might be helpful to get an understanding when the last trading date is uh, if you're trading commodity contracts. Uh, so I do like that feature. It's the third circle within these three options here. And of course, if you go back to the first option, it's going to bring you back to the uh, the chart. All right, and that's pretty much how you access the chart when it's integrated within the Colts widget. Now, the one downside about using this particular display format is because you can see that the chart is very small. So it may work if you're using a cell phone device. It, this is probably ideal if you want to be able to see the entire workspace all from one widget screen, as you can see here. Now, if you, you know, let's say you're on a desktop PC and display monitor display is not a big issue for you and you just want to get the charts a little bigger then you can go ahead and do that by building out an independent chart widget and how you do that let me go ahead and add a new widget here and then you'll notice here chart and you have different chart types so if I select candles for example and now I just type in the symbol that I want to create the independent chart for so EPU 6 that's the September mini S&P I'm going to click OK and now, as you can see, it's not integrated within the quotes widget. It's a chart by itself. So it's still smaller because I still have the other widgets around it. But if, you, for example, if I want to create a new workspace altogether, and let's just show you a quick example here. I won't get too in detail about how to create the workspace. That will be for a different video. But if I go here, add a widget, and just add just one big giant chart just on its, by itself, now you can see it's, it's, a, it's a much larger display. All right, so that, that's pretty much how you create an independent chart widget, which uh, if you do want the bigger display, that's going to be the way to go in terms of adding a much larger chart compared to what you saw earlier when it was integrated within the quotes widget. So let me go back to the workspace. And this is what the integrated uh, chart workspace looks like, or better yet, chart display that's integrated within the quotes widget. All right, and that's pretty much charts. Very easy, very straightforward. As I mentioned, uh, there's still there's there's a bit of a restriction in terms of uh, customization and, and a little flexibility in terms of changing different time frames and indicators and input values for those indicators. And hopefully, as we move forward, um, I've been um, kind of monitoring the changes that have been occurring over the last couple months, and it seems CQG is very proactive in improving this particular product. So hopefully I would not be surprised by the end of this year that there's going to be a lot more flexibility with the charting. Otherwise, if there's any further questions on this, give our help desk a call. We're a 24-hour support team around the clock. It's 312-893-6400, extension 1. That'll get you directly to our help desk. Otherwise, guys, stay tuned and stay updated with our YouTube channel. It's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you next time, and happy trading, guys.